What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to some cars and coffee. So today we're driving the Lexus, so we need to make sure the power is on. The VC, VSC is off, and then let's put this bad boy on red. You never know. You never know who we're gonna run into. You know, we are going to a cars and coffee event, right? We'll see how this rolls. Uh, a little. Oh shit, I almost left my garage door open. Let's go. Let's go! Alright, just got off the phone with Dave and Fro. And Fro's gonna meet me on the 805 and Governor. And Dave's gonna hurry up and get his ass in the shower and meet us there. But Dave's closer. He actually lives in Air Basin. So. We got Fro. Woo! This car is looking good. Car looks good. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. I'll follow you. I don't know. It's at, uh, oh, yeah. It's off of Mira Mesa. Where solar used to be, right? Yeah, basically. Alright. You don't want the gap. Does he want the gap? Back in the day, that used to be what we called Firehouse. And that was probably one of the coolest illegal Mexico quarter mile tracks in Southern California, man. That place would go off from like midnight till 5 a.m., man, before the cops started breaking us down. First car is looking sick, though. I need to get those lights. So we're at our local cars and coffee event with Pro. What's up, man? And uh, it's actually a pretty decent turnout, and cars are just showing up. So cool cars all around, man. Type R's. That's like five Type R's. Yeah, dude. There's a shit ton of Type that R's. Gray one over there. Oh yeah, that's like that whole section over there is like the six AMers or five AMers because they get here and all the food the ground is filming, dude. Subaru section over here. That wagon is sick, dude. Oh, look at that too. That's clean, dude. Oh, yeah. Another, another good reaction. Yeah. CRX. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. That is dope. Those little tubes. Looks like my wood floors. Yeah, that is cool. Haha. <laughs> Check that out. That's kind of cool. I'd rock it. Hell yeah, I would rock it, dude. <laughs> I'd rock almost anything, dude. Oh yeah, Dave joined us. Hey, what's up, Dave? What up? Got the built to drive shirt on. Guys? Nice. I nice see you. Don't worry, guys. I'm making sure it turned out. I bought Dave the wrong size shirt, so don't fucking hate me. I'm sorry, Dave. It happens. I actually did, dude. I, you told, that's when I was like, what size shirt do you wear? And you told me, I was like, dude, no way. No, you're going to fit in this. You're like, no, dude, I'm pretty sure I don't. I'm like, I'm pretty sure you will. So now I got to buy you the right size. You got to tell December, homie. My birthday's coming. So I'm going to write this 
thing is super cool. Oh, nice. Hello. No, is that the, the bag? Yeah, that is. A, what is it called? The rumble seat? Or rumble seat. Yeah. Rumble seat. Tesla 3? Yeah, they're cool. I saw that is daily. The 3 is like, well, the, the only one with the oversized motor that you can break loose. Uh -huh. It's a little Beamer it's squad. Like this is such a beautiful car, man. We'll see. It's so perfect. It's gonna be worth a lot of money, dude. You got an MR2, bro. It's a supercharged model. The proper wheels on it for the year. Cool truck. Look at the back end on that. It's cool, dude. Same Honda guy around, man. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm a Toyota guy, actually. Oh, yeah, me too. That's why I'm, I'm both. The, that's why I put the stretch arm base in the back. Uh, no, but this is both right here. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> the hardest part in the back? Yeah, yeah. Yes, exactly. I haven't seen it lately. How much have you done anything to it? Just the hardest bar and uh, oh, dude, it can't go stick. Have you ever heard of the Honda S660? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Get it all the way. Dude. Look at the bare brakes all the way around, bro. It's a full-on race car, bro. I tell you, this is what I want to build, bro. 335s in the front. 335s. I want to know what's under the hood. Uh, is this yours? Yeah. Please. Just an LS, too. Just? Yeah. Just. What kind of transmission are you running? A T56 Magnum. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Bulletproof, man. Oh, yeah. You got 335s in the front? What are you running in the rear? 335s. Yeah. Square. Beautiful, yeah. man. Look, that, everything that's beautiful on this Try speed front end. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Kyle is a good friend of mine. Yeah. Good job. I love the bare brakes. Everything. Yeah, he's a good friend of mine. Kyle, yeah. Did you track it? Yeah, we do autocross here. Oh, beautiful, yeah. beautiful. Yeah, that's beautiful. You do all your own work? I wish. Well, <laughs> right? You save a lot of money. Shit ton of money. PCH rods. Fully built motor. Yeah. I mean, I can do some stuff, but putting in the whole. Jesus Christ, bro. You're still retaining some of the wood bed. That's cool. What do you think? You see the plate? What? <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude, that's what I want. It's so bad, dude. This other C10 is badass, too. Tub, too. Oh, sheet metal. Look at Willwood brakes in the rear and the front. It's got Willwood brakes. Sparkle wheel, you see the sparkle wheel?
years. Oh. <laughs> One of these days it will be. Oh man, you got Not all, like that. I don't have that money. You got all that matters right now. Yeah. It's all that matters. You got the car. It was a long bed. I shortened it. How, how hard is it to do that? Is it just yeah, different really, different drive shafts? No, well, it's not just that. They're, they have a kit. Brothers I've heard trucks. about it. Yeah, yeah, actually, I was looking so into that. 12 inches out of the frame underneath the cab. Okay. And then 8 inches back here. On the back end? Line it all back together and then cut. I on for because I know. So did you do it yourself or? Yeah. Oh, nice. So is it all welded or is it bolted? It's bolted and welded. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. So. Uh, How much is a kit? If you don't mind me asking. Yeah, it was like uh, four hundred dollars. Really? Yeah. Because I was just talking to my brother about this and how bad I want one, but you can't find them unless they're long bit. Yeah. And I'm like, I know they make a conversion and kit, but how much it. money is a kit? Yeah. The, and then I really mind one of, one of these just with the flatbed on it, with the wooden flatbed. To be honest, they kind of look nice like yeah. this. You no, know? I've seen a couple of them but, done yeah. and they look good. I like no, your wheels a, too. Then you have to cut 12 inches out of the front, and I elected to do that right this minute. I'm going to go ahead and since then I've done the the axle. Doesn't look like it, but it's all internal. Okay. And uh, it's got the 12 bolt with the 370. Do you use the, the drive shaft from the short bed? Uh huh. Oh, no, from the long bed. Oh, really? And, wow. And you just cut 12 inches out of the front. There it goes. Okay. There you go. And then that, that shook. 400 bucks, back. huh? Yeah. But, That's uh, awesome, man. East County, from East County? Yeah, East County, yeah, Elko. Too. Oh, nice, man. Yeah. I, I live you? in Rancho. Oh, okay, San Diego. Rancho, San Diego. Yeah, right there. We're out there all the time. Uh, we used to meet out there at, uh, uh, what is that, uh, uh, Carl's Jr. Okay, yeah, on yeah. On Thursday nights. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We don't, we it's haven't right been. right down the street from my house. We haven't been haven't in a long time, time, of course, through all this. Yeah. Don't be looking at this. That's so nice. Don't be looking at this. <laughs> <laughs> this was this not too long ago. What's that? This was this not too long ago with no bed on it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've uh, I've got the bed all shortened now, and I've got to go. I just got to do the body work to put it all back together. I like the bed. I did well. Okay, I've got to grind those tacks now. Right? Chewbacca, awesome. found the one GS in the whole show. Huh? It's the only GS I found in the whole show. Yeah. <laughs> With the fenders too, even. Look at the headlight covers. Those are cool. I wonder if that's like a carbon fiber. I wonder if it's a whole carbon fiber hood that they painted. Does it look like a hood? Or is it just... It's a taken Sunday. Yeah, it's a carbon fiber hood, dude. They painted it to make, that's cool. It's driven too, you can tell. What was that from? 
I like the little the wing, buckles. The, the seats, you see how they have those little circles? Yeah, the wing and check out the... Oh, look at the carbon. Yeah, that's cool. And jam, right? That's cool. It's got a little kicker even. That's cool. Is this yours? Beautiful, man. Thank you. I love the carbon hood, too. The players, the oh, all, yeah, we were just pointing it all out right now. Is that I like that centerpiece? That's awesome, man. Beautiful car. Yeah, it was the uh, feature build on a show called Counting Cars. Oh, okay, oh, yeah, 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 I remember. Taking a shot at the yeah, 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 exactly. I saw the Counts Customs, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. Did, 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 did it get of, built uh, there? Poor guys heard the whole spiel already, but. Uh, I love that show, bro. I used to watch uh, it Danny religiously. Oh, cool. He's up in Nevada, right? Yeah, Las Vegas. Yeah, yeah Las yeah. Vegas. Cool stuff. Awesome. I don't even want to know how much you, you paid for. They did a good job with it. It's not their usual stuff. Usually no, nothing do, at all. I've never seen that episode, actually. Yeah. yeah. Season 7, episode 11. Oh. Counting cars. What? Counting cars. Oh, really? Oh, damn. There's their logo there. Cool stuff. This? I mean, a little more Nardo gray, but yeah. <laughs> it's cool. Transformer emblem. Here you find the Honda guys. Oh, that sucks, dude. They stole his emblem, bro. What are those, 18s? Or 17s? 18s? That's some fitment, huh? It's like the rear. Oh no, I think he paid like 60 probably. That's when they had the two ends. Almost curved the wheels. It's an Arizona truck too. Yeah. Alright D. All right, Later brother. We'll uh we'll catch up again soon. Work on you wanna the work on the, the hood soon? Yeah, yeah. I'm ready. You got the hood. You got the clear, bring it. Yeah. Probably next week. What's a good day for you? We'll figure it out. Um, Quant, squash. That's what's up, guys. We're out of here. We're going to close it down. Peace. Peace. Like, comment, subscribe. guys so pretty cool event right that's uh, cool cars um everything from jdm american to european i mean everything from off-road to track you know seen those cool c10s with the uh, can't wait for next month and uh, got to meet the guys who helped put it together and they're actually talking about how they're they also put together the street legal racing that's in san diego it hasn't been going on for some time now due to covid and uh the Qualcomm having an issue with the track, but um, they're actually moving it to Gillespie Field, which I'm super stoked about. I can't wait to see when that happens. Definitely a bigger venue, and I always thought that Qualcomm had a cool track, but it just wasn't long enough, and uh, hopefully they have a quarter mile at this one. But um, yeah, guys, definitely hanging out with the boys is always cool, getting the cars out. Obviously not our normal video, but you know, and, you know just getting out around car stuff is cool, right? So getting us out of the garage. So, either way, guys, thanks for hanging out with us. We appreciate all your support. So, please like, comment, subscribe. We hit that 2,000 mark, which we really appreciate. Um, it was uh, Donuts and Coffee or Cars and Donuts. I forget which one here in Mira Mesa. But uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.